Nah, man. I, I realized it starts in freaking... Freaking America times, dude. Freaking America times, dude. So it says 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. weekdays. I don't know. Someone can do quick Googles for me and figure out what time 4 p.m. America time is. Maybe you would have to get up really early in the afternoon and do it. Or stay up late. I don't know. And I'm not sure how hard the grind is. I hope it's not like a super like long grind. If we just if we just do a few and get the outfit and call it a day, which is not what I want to do. I'd actually be super down to do PVP like consistently, but well, the the actual challenge is not the PVP itself. It's getting to people. Is that's going to be the actual challenge? Not forget the event and everything. It's just trying to get people for it. Is going to be the biggest challenge. Everything else is easy peasy. It's uncapped PVP. What does that mean, bro? What's that? What does that mean in layman's terms? No restrictions, what does that mean? <laughs> Layman's terms. I've never you're talking to someone that's never done PvP in this game in their life. So you gotta like dumb it down to toddler levels of explanation. So what you're saying is I'm gonna get destroyed. As if it's not even equalized, man. Pearly Bis, get your head out of your ass, man. Let's have, let's have a let's have a guild event where we like we get the community together to fight one another. Oh right, by the way. It's not balanced, so you can absolutely get your ass handed to. Yeah, that'll be a fun time for everyone. <laughs> like, like seriously, man. Like, how to get new players into your game's PvP? Step one. There's just like, f everyone. With, uh... A difference in power levels. Like, balance that shit, man. Isn't there like a different PvP mode where everyone's gears like, equalize? Like, far out, man. Shit just like, pisses me off a bit sometimes. That's like, I want to participate, but I'm being punished for participating. And then they wonder why people leave their games. Like, what's like what's the thought process? I guess, is it for the whales? Is it typical, like, oh, let's just get whales to spend more money so they can feel like they got big penises in-game? So they can feel good about themselves, killing everyone? Is that it? Bro, I just want the outfit box. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. If they're going to make it, like, super stupid... And they wonder why people don't PvP or PvP is dying in their game. It's not my problem, man. I wouldn't even do it if it was for the outfit box. I'm just that's the incentive for me right now. But it's frustrating, man. Because it feels like it because the event comes up as like, oh, we want to get guilds, we want to get community, we want to get new players into PvP. We're offering a free outfit for new, you know, which will probably entice new players the more than anyone else. Because if you've been playing this game for a long time, you've probably got everything anyways. So it's like, oh yeah, hey man, let's 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 uh let's motivate people to do guild activities in PvP. Oh yeah, but um, you're gonna get your ass handed to you. Have a fun time, guys. Have fun playing against the guy that's been playing for seven years, guys. Have fun, guys. That's my stupid horse, man. <laughs> I'm so salty now. That 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 really like that's that salt that grinds my gears, bro. That grinds my gears. Still, like, you still get points for t participating, right? I don't even... If we just get destroyed, like, I'll just get my outfit box and then get the flip out of there. Enjoy your dick-flexing, super high-gear PvP. I'm, I'll just take my outfit box and leave. Straight up, if that's what it, what it comes down to. Alright, whatever, bro. I'll just come in. If we can kill one person, get points, whatever, man. Just get the outfit box and get out. That, that's, that's stupid, though, man. That pisses me off. Like, I know why they're doing it. Like, they're not completely, like... Brain dead. It's for the whales. Because they're the ones that spend the most money to have like the biggest penises, right? Because that's what they want. It's like with them, it's a like constant constant dick measuring contest. So I get that 100% um, from a business point of view. But like, it just kills it, man. Yeah. Like, I was so... I was, I was, and what bums me out too is I was so excited for it. And then when you said like, ah... Oh. Because I thought naturally it's going to be equalized, surely. Because most of the stuff is... But uh, PvP that isn't equalized is the dumbest in any MMO. It's like the dumbest thing you can do. It was it was like that in Diablo Immortal. You just had one guy coming in one shotting everybody. It, like the whole the whole uh, team would just get wiped, and it would be like a not even close victory. It was it was the dumbest experience I had, and I'm and I stopped playing. The, like, it was one of the key pinnacles of when I was like me moving on from that game. Like, why wouldn't it be equalized? I guess, like I said, man, money, 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 right? Well, I will do it. I'll still do it. Whatever. Yeah, here we go. It's, it's right, man. What happens when your guild achieves 500 total kills in the guild league? We will shower all guild members with generous rewards. Event premium outfit box. Advice of Valks plus 100. It's called a world of intense battles of guild league. You do get it. 
These items will be awarded to adventurers who are members of a guild that have achieved over 500 total, 500 total kills. That's not even points. You just gotta get 500 kills, which does sound a bit egregious. So basically, if you've got the biggest sword, good luck, yeah. Playing against seven year old maxed out maxed out of their tits PvP guys. I wanna I'm still gonna do it. I wanna see how many kills we get average for, for one fight. You're gonna have to lose a lot before you start basing because you might get fuel kills on. I'll try it, bro. I wanna see it from my I wanna see it from my own eyes. I wanna experience my own eyes. See what the numbers are like, see how it goes. Maybe I'll, I don't know if the matchmaking is like full cope take right now, but if their matchmaking is like half decent, maybe we'll get like another rubbish guild. In movie doobie guild. A lot of new players in the game. I'll, I'll, I want to see if my own eyes and then I'll critique it. At least that way, if I do roast the game and shit on the game, I'll have like a basis to go off, like based on experience. You know what I mean? Because so far I've been like kind of loving it up until this point, but PvP is the one area I haven't actually experienced personally, so. Maybe PvP is where we uh, drop the ball on the game for me. It's very fun. Yeah, man, like I'm down for it. But not only do you have the fact that it's not even capped, but furthermore, you've got, um, yeah, like balancing and stuff. So like the guy, the, the meta classes are just probably going to win by default anyways. That's like another thing on top. Don't even get me started on that. At least if it's uncapped, it, it could be like a little bit okay, this fight class being broken. I'm, I'm not sure what the balancing scene is like in Black Desert. I'm laughing so hard right now, you're mentally all over the place. People's damage is so ridiculously high, everything's one shot, so it boils down to who can hit you from the outside of random distance. Oh, that's great, bro. I'm in for a good time. I'm gonna try. If it's, like, ridiculous to get people, ridiculous to play, ridiculous to earn the outfit, I'm just gonna drop it, man. It's not worth it. For one outfit. They hand out outfit, outfits every so often anyways. Because it's just so, like, not all-inclusive, you know what I mean? Because what if you're not even a PvP guild? What if you're just, like, a life skilling guild and all the peeps are just, like, fishing and gathering and stuff? And then it's like, oh, hey, why don't we try to, like, diversify the play base, get, like, the life skills to check out PvP, or do an event with the PvP to check out life skills, you know, kind of mix it up a bit, get everyone all together for, like, a one-time big event. So, you know what we'll do? We'll make PvP, like, all, all, all normalized for everyone. Everyone gets a fair chance. Just come in, have fun. Um, do your best, learn PvP, learn how the PvP works in the game. If you're a new player, maybe you just started the game today, you want to check out PvP, it's a great time for you. Mr. Eyes by Ash, you just started the game, maybe you'd like to check out this event. Um, guess what, just by participating, you also get like a premium outfit box. Oh wow, thanks Mr. Pearl Abyss. That sounds great, I'd love to participate in your game and check out this content. Like I said, I'm going to try. At least so, if I do roast a game, it's going to be either justified or unjustified. Because right now, I'm just talking out of my ass. Again, still, shit incentive, man. Like, do they want people? Like, do they want people to do this event? Do people do this event? Like, it, the game's been out for, I don't know how many years now. Have they, like, got statistics from before and be like, Hey, this event works really well, the way, the way, the way it is. Let's continue doing it the way it is. Is that how it is? It's like, it works really well, so we'll continue doing it the way it is. Let's not make any changes that might make it more inclusive. Yeah, but still, like the the ease, of, like the accessibility, the fact that you can just press G and start it and get into a, like load into a zone and fight. It it feels like it's meant to be more accessible for people like you and me. People that just like for people that literally just go on a rowboat and fish down and, and hunt whales. For like for people like that, I feel like it's meant to be more incentive. Like hey you, Mister. Builds a builds a rowboat and sets sail to the middle of the ocean to hunt whales. Yeah, you, bro. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you're not really interested in PvP, are you? And I'm like, no, not really. Well, guess what, man? There's this really cool event that's coming out. You just press G, you get ten people, you load into a zone, and you just fight people. Yeah, it's that easy. No effort required, other than getting the people. And guess what? If you get if you play enough, we'll even give you a premium outfit. And you're like, oh wow. Sounds really good, Mr. Polaris. Time me up. Sounds like exactly the kind of thing I need to embrace some PvP in this game. And so I get your arguments. I'm just saying this event is not good. Yeah, no, I appreciate the heads up, bro. I'm not I'm not having a go at you. I hope it doesn't feel like I'm having a go at you. I'm just expressing my general frustration 
with the game and games that do this. Because I, I know the answer. I know, I know why they do it. Because they're not like completely brain dead. I know why they do it. And it ruins every game. Again, it's that, it's that one, it's that 5% or maybe 10%, I don't know how many whales there are in this game. It's for those dick measuring nerds that have spent more money in this game than they probably should. And, and it makes them feel like a man, it makes them feel big and like productive in life. And they, and, and they feed into those guys because they're the ones dropping the most amount of money. Which is also why the enhancing system is the way it is, to some degree. Like, why do, you, why do you think that guy goes through all that pain and misery to get that, like, 10 extra stats on an item? I'll tell you why. Because he wants to get all his friends and his buddies in the PvP arena and be like, Hey, check me out, guys. Look at my panda gear. Also, did you notice how big my penis is now? Yeah. It's bigger than all you guys. That's right. How cool am I? I'm the, the coolest guy on the planet. Check me out. For that, like, a little bit of satisfaction for that one guy, for that little small percentage, they, like, they, they cater to that one guy. For that small percentage of people. Compared to, like, I don't know, the entire player base, maybe, might be a better way to go about improving your game. Alright, how about we, we just, let's try, like, please everybody, instead of the guys that spend the most money. No, I've, I, I mean, I, I, look, don't get me wrong, I, I kind of did see it. I see a lot of, I, I see a lot of people complaining on reddit and forums and videos and stuff but for me it was like i just kind of brushed it up because not my problem kind of thing or like i haven't got to there yet for it to even be my problem like like really dumb example like enhancing i know everyone cries about enhancing but whenever i read it i'm just like eh, probably not gonna enhance i'm not there yet who cares but it's an issue right for people and if i do get to the enhancing levels then maybe i'll have the same kind of sympathy with it yeah, they got rankings for Solaire, so I'm assuming it's like any other ranking kind of game where beginners will fight beginners. Bro, though, straight up, if it wasn't for the outfit, I wouldn't even look at it. If it was not for the outfit, I would not even sneeze at this event. It's the only thing that's got me even the slightest bit interested. And as you said, it's not even like a super good one. I wouldn't even put myself through all the effort. Which is why I'm gonna, like, that's the only reason. And that's probably why they put it in there, because can you imagine if they didn't put it in there? If they didn't put the outfit box in there, as, like, new player bait, right? It'll probably just be that 0.1% just clashing penises. Trying to prove he's got the big one. And, like, yeah, let them have their fun. Let them, let them flex their penises with one another. You guys do. I'm gonna go back to... Hunting whales on my rowboat. <laughs>